So I know it's been a while since I've submitted a video to YouTube, but that's because I'm working on a really big project right now that I'm going to be posting to YouTube just as soon as it's done. I'll tell you, it has to do with glass circuit boards, and I've learned a lot. There's a lot of neat stuff that I'm going to be including in that video. But in the meantime, I was just browsing DigiKey, and I noticed that they have these AT Tinies, which are uh, really tiny. They're actually uh, they're these uh, AT Tiny uh, 44 that are. Uh, UFBGA. Uh, don't re did not know what that meant when I uh, went to go buy it. That was just like, whoa, that just sounds tiny. So I uh, went and bought one. Have it right here, and I mounted it to a circuit board that I printed. Just had a, a bunch of uh, extra pads on it. It's uh, kind of hard to see, I guess. But um, didn't really do anything. Just program put wired up the the programming header, and I left the three pins on the inside disconnected. So I was curious if I could use the internal oscillator to get about uh, 14 megahertz to do NTSC video. As you can see here, I have a uh, some surface mount resistors hooked up right there. I have a little resistor going into a uh, video cable over to this TV. And the answer is yes. Yes, in fact, you can do NTSC video. I tried encoding the chroma, but the clock just wasn't stable enough for that. So I stuck with uh, just the, the straight black and white video. Uh, something interesting I noticed though, while there's this jitter on the video because the stability of the internal oscillator isn't really all that good, it's still good enough for the TV to track, um, the, there was just some interesting uh, kind of behavior with the, the temperature sensor. So I, I watched the temperature sensor and I noticed that if I put my thumb on it, let's see if we get that in there, you know, it'll slowly, slowly rise. I'm kind of trying to heat it up. Very, very slow though. But one of the things I noticed that was very strange was that instead of trying to heat it up, if instead I change it and I deflect it, and this is just applying pressure like that to the pad, or to the whole circuit board, I get an enormous change on the, uh, the video here. I don't know what's causing this. Also, if I try deflecting it the other way, so if I go this way, deflects downward voltage-wise, which is upward on the screen. If I press this way, it deflects downward. Uh, don't really know what that glitch was. But, uh, oh, it's probably the wire getting crossed. But, uh, yeah, I've noticed that there's this strange sort of, I can apply pressure to the circuit board, and I get an interesting uh, change in the internal temperature reading. And I'm thinking I might be able to use this uh, to my advantage. Uh, but I'm curious if anybody out there has any idea what could possibly cause the uh, the chip, something this tiny, the uh, UFBGA thing, to uh, to deflect uh, actual like reading of an internal voltage on the ADC. That'd be really great. I'm just have no idea what could possibly be causing this.